Hi, in this video, I'm gonna get you set up with Beatport Streaming and Algorithm DJ's mobile app. We're gonna get it integrated, check out some playlists, get tracks on the decks and get playing. Let's have a look. Open up Algorithm DJ on your mobile, pass through the introductory screens and click a music note symbol above a deck to load a track. You'll find input sources underneath the vinyl icon. Select Beatport and that'll prompt you to log in. Log in using your Beatport account. Let's use mine. Let's switch to horizontal to get a better view. Initially, it'll bring you to the Beatport Top 100. This is across all genres. If you click a genre here, you can view the Top 100 for that style. To pop a track on the deck, simply click We've it. Lost dance. Let's load something to the other side. If we select playlists from the bottom of the screen, it'll take us to our playlists. You'll find liked tracks. These are the tracks you've liked within the app. There's the offline locker where you can choose to store tracks you'd like to play when you're not connected to the internet. I'll show you how to do that soon. Then there's purchase tracks. These are the tracks you've bought on the web store. Let's pop one on a deck. If we click to load another track and head back in, back to playlists, underneath that is another list called playlists. These are the playlists you've made on the Beatport DJ web app, on the web store, in an integrated DJing software, or on the Beatport mobile app. If we click to load another track, we can have a look at what else we can do from within the search area. This menu button allows us to like a track, add a track to our queue, or we can add it to a playlist. These are playlists stored with an algorithm DJ. Let's make a new playlist. Click it to add and it's in there for later. We can also add it to our offline locker. The folder icon next to the BPM lets us know that that track has been saved locally and is safe to play when we're not connected to the internet. Finally, we can preview the track. Next up is the explore tab. Here you'll find new. These are new tracks across all genres. Below that is my Beatport. This is what's new from the artists and labels you follow. Underneath that, everything's divided up by genre again and you can check out what's new in each style. If we click one of these, you'll find the top 100 for the genre, what's new in the genre. You'll see there's tons of things to check out here. Below that, you'll find featured. These are playlists curated by our team of genre specialists. Let's open one up and grab a track. This is a good opportunity for me to highlight neural mix. The end below the decks allows you to choose what sort of neural mix you'd like to use. Then if we click the faders above the play button, we can have a play. Here we can choose to turn down or mute the vocals. Do the same with the drums. Or the melodies. This is a fun way to play around with different styles of mixing. Some other options in this tab are your traditional EQ or isolators, effects, loops, cues, and other things you typically find on a DJ setup. Let's head back in and check out some other search functions. Match recommends tracks that it thinks will go with the music you've got on the decks. Let's pop some of these in our queue. Then if we click the queue tab, you'll see we've got lots of different tracks ready to listen to and play. A final cool feature I want to show you is auto mix. Jump back up here and then choose auto mix and then we click play. This will play through all the tracks in our queue. We can skip tracks, check out new tracks, listen to blends done by algorithm and see what works with what. And that's it. Now you're set to get DJing with Beatport's entire catalogue right from on your mobile. Have fun and I'll see you next time.